want to see something really cool in Visual Studio, C Sharp, Dynamo, and Revit. It's called Hot Reload or Live Debugging. So in this case, I have Visual Studio running with a Dynamo graph with one node called Modify Sheet Stuff just running. So what we're going to go ahead and do is open up Visual Studio and we're going to edit some things live right in Visual Studio C Sharp Dynamo for Revit 2024. In this case, we're going to go ahead and modify our sheet. So I'm going to obtain my internal sheet here. So let's see, this all this code didn't live in this node quite yet. Let's go ahead and change the sheet number. So view sheet, sheet number equals hello, one, two, three. We're going to go ahead and click on this little fire icon to hot reload it. Back in Dynamo, we're going to refresh our node and we'll see that we have hello one, two, three. Really, really cool. We're modifying that on the fly. I'm going to go ahead and copy this. We'll comment that out, sheet name. Let's also change the name to hello one, two, three, four. Hello one, two, three, there we go. So now we change the name as well. Live debugging is really, really cool because with C Sharp, you're able to do these things very quickly. So what other things do we have in here for our sheet view? We have parameter names, we can modify those as well. So if we have the sheet name drawn by, let's go ahead and set a parameter. And we're going to set the drawn by parameter. We're going to set that to JTP. Those are my initials. We're gonna do this little hot reload icon right here. Place it again. And now we have that drawn by getting set. Let's go ahead and modify a few other parameters. We'll add another one here, another one here. So we're gonna do designed by and checked by. So I'm just modifying this whole project. It's all me. Hot reload, refresh the Dynamo graph, all that stuff's updating. So with Visual Studio, C Sharp, zero touch nodes with Dynamo for Revit, you can work in them in a very similar way as Python. If you wanna learn how to do this and make nodes that do this, check out the link below to the new course that I'm offering, Zero Touch Unraveled. Uh, from my course platform. It, it is a wait list right now. If you want to learn how to do these things, get on that wait list. It is coming out very soon. Uh, Visual Studio, C Sharp. It's one of those things, rhythms all in C Sharp. After I learned C Sharp, that was it. That's all I wanted to do. I encourage you to do the same. Check out the link below. This is just kind of a little bit of a teaser for that course. If you just want to check out the source code, I'll link that below as well but really, really cool thing. And it just feels like a bit of a superpower for Dynamo for Revit once you learn it. So check it out, link below. We'll see you there. And thanks for checking out this video.